Combat for me was one of the best things and one of the worst things. Long periods of boredom interrupted by sheer moments of terror. IEDs, um, ambushes, and war's not pretty. Nine months into a deployment, it hits you. It's real. He was probably 19 or 20 years old at the most, screaming at the top of his lungs because he's missing part of his lower leg. A couple yards away and an ID went off. Literally blown through the air. I tried to roll on my right arm to stop the bleeding. I was like, my legs, you know, I think it's broken. We all had blood running down the side of our faces. And I said, tourniquet, tourniquet, tourniquet. Because you're trying to put on this tourniquet on this guy and you know, there's basically nothing left. He's reaching out because he's scared. I took his hand and I held his hand until we went into the cache, and then until he went into theater, until he went into the operating theater. I believe it's important for aspiring physicians to know that these soldiers' issues are real. You know, instead of calling an 800 number, then pushing one or two to get to an operator, hoping the operator is going to be there. We need to be aware of and to know that how to treat these individuals. I think you really need to try as much as you can to put yourself in their shoes and to be able to think of if you were them, if the roles were reversed, how would you like to be talked to? How would you like to be helped? 